European market stabilized after early weakness on more concerns about Greece. I'm joined by Dr. Florian Schuey, an economics historian at the University of St. Gallen, Switzerland. Thanks so much for your time. You know, going into today, the market seemed a bit more nervous about the Greek debt talks. There's a bit more stability here now. Is there reason, though, for optimism? I think at the moment we are seeing some movement. There seems to be a plan by Jean-Claude Juncker in the making. Uh, although everything remains uh, uncertain, we, we can't be sure that uh, a change in policy will actually happen. And that's urgently needed because uh, policies that have been put out so far have proved to be pretty inefficient to solve the crisis. So what do we know at this point about the plan that looks to be in the works? I think uh, it, it really is pretty uh, uncertain. We, we don't know anything. Uh, the impression is that Jean-Claude Juncker is looking to uh, give Greece some more time, uh, perhaps a partial restructuring of, of the debt, something that would ease the conditions slightly of uh, the debt payments. Um, it is doubtful, though, uh, if the IMF uh, and other European governments will accept this kind of softening of the line. What will be key to watch for here over the next 10 days or so to help determine whether Greece is indeed going to be able to make this next payment to the IMF? Well, I think it, it has become pretty clear that Greece will not be able to make many more payments. Uh, uh, Greece is quickly running out of resources uh, to make those payments. And I think a policy that insists on actually collecting this debt is naive. Um, the question is, is the rest of Europe going to insist on collecting the debt and thereby will thereby push Greece into default and out of the euro? Or uh, is there a consensus emerging within the European Union, within the international institutions, uh, among European governments, that a debt restructuring must happen? And I think we are now facing some of the last days uh, in which such a plan could be implemented. So uh, I think it's a make or break period now for, for Greece's uh, Euro membership. But can a default really be allowed to happen? Would there not be such dramatic ripple effects that it's in everyone's best interest to, some, to come up with some sort of alternative plan? I think uh, a default would actually be extremely damaging, uh, perhaps not from an economic point of view, because uh, financial markets have had so much time to prepare for this event that I don't think anyone would be really surprised by it. Uh, and anyway, uh, the major part of, of Greek Greek debt is in public hands anyway. So uh, what would happen uh, would be that uh, European uh, taxpayers would be on the hook for those uh, loans and um, guarantees that have been extended to Greece in, in the past. But I think economically speaking that's manageable and Greece may actually find itself in a slightly more positive position after an exit because uh, it would not have to make those huge payments uh, uh, anymore and it would also be able to devaluate its new currency and thereby gain some competitiveness. Um, I think the main damage would be political, really. The problem is that the European uh, project of unification and cooperation would would really suffer its first major setback. And if Greece exits the euro, it would still remain in many of the other European institutions. And cooperation with Greece would be so much more difficult after an event like this. And also trust in the commitment of the EU to further um, uh, to create an ever closer union uh, to guarantee political and economic stability would be uh, undermined. I mean, I think the focus of financial markets would turn immediately to countries like uh, uh, Portugal or Spain or Italy after a Greek exit. So I think really uh, the problem here is political, not so much uh, economical. Dr. Florian Chewy, we end it there. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you for having me. I'm Rhonda Schaffler for The Street.